did not create Adam and Eve at the same time. He created Adam first, gave Adam his responsibility, gave Adam his word, because God holds men responsible first. When men abandon their lead responsibility, women are critical, they're essential. He uses easier conigdo. She's an essential collaborator. But when mankind fell, God didn't come and say, Adam and Eve, where are y'all? He said, Adam, where are you? Mm. The Bible says in Adam all die, not in Adam and Eve all die. Wow. Mm. When God did the covenant, he said, I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, not Sarah, Rebecca, and Rachel. In other words, he would hold men ultimately responsible. In Exodus chapter 34, verses 23 and 24, God called all the males, he left all the women home, and he said, if I can get you men to listen to me, I will send you back and I'll save your nation. Mm. So he holds men ultimately responsible. So when men fail, it's like the foundation of a house failing. The other parts are critical, but the stability of the other parts are dependent upon the solid foundation. Foundations don't have to be pretty, but they better be strong. So God is calling men to be strong so that everything else, family, churches, and culture can be built on their strength. Because if not, then we're calling on women to be women and men. Hmm. And God is not calling on them to be both. He's calling on us to be men. When men fail, the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 3, when men fail, it says the children rebel, the women take over, and it says the men become weak. Hmm. Wow. So the Bible holds men ultimately responsible.